Hello guys, welcome to Traders Therapy Session. I'm your host KRO. Uh, guys, I wanna just share with you uh, the analysis, the expectations of the next week's market. Uh, I just dropped the the previous week's uh, market review. So now let's see what the market holds for us for next week and then see what we can do with it with the price without wasting any time let's just get into it looking at the monthly time frame right here this will be simple straight to the point we're not going to explain anything further besides this what we have in the chat um coming here my first point was buy side monthly buy side was engaged with a fair value gap above remember that fair value gap that i mentioned it was disrespected there it was engaged well there's this one if we are going to go up above this area this should be the one but let's deal with what the price is giving us at the moment uh, the monthly buy side remember be, the price will take out the liquidity and it needs an excuse to turn the liquidity was taken and then the excuse was a fair value gap right there. So the market dropped. What do we have here? One, two, three. We have a monthly swing high. The reason why I annotate this monthly swing high, um, for me, for price to 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 go to go high, it has it needs to take out this swing high. And then for me, the swing high, I guess, is a strong sub. It's a support for me for price to go down so after that what do we have here uh, we have our first draw on liquidity after buy side this buy side which is a CB right here then the price engaged for about three months with it one two three and we are still watching what the price will do here then we have below that we have a discounted fair value gap if you take your Fibonacci from this area to that area, if you engage with this impulse only, not including the whole leg, this will be the discounted fair value gap right there. So even if the price is willing to go higher, but at least it will engage, let it engage with this area. So let's go to the lower time frame than this, which will be the weekly time frame. So please, our focus, focus here. Remember that this is monthly, then this will be multiplied by four. So that was the monthly buy side liquidity there, which was engaged with no fair value gap here, which we are going to talk about it. Uh, if we, the reason the price might go high, it might be this fair value gap right there plus this fair value gap was this was violated but it was not violated because of this was the low responsible for this then it was taken out so that was a fair price there so guys focus here we had that monthly swing high right there the price went down we do not have any fair value gap right there but the price still reacted and went down what made the price do that this green candle right there this is a bearish or a block the price went down engaged with the other block the line that is not annotated here where the price turned if you take your fibonacci from this high to this low you will get that this is 50 percent you will realize that this is 50 percent then the mean threshold then the price dropped we took out the low remember i uh this this candle right here we acted off there's a video on this channel we acted off 25 percent and i said i will now my focus will now be on 50 percent then 75 going uh, uh, until it gets into this area as a sensitive area right there then the price went down what did we have right there this candle slow, this candle high, the fair value gap, and obviously we have a sell side. And this low right there 
is responsible for this fair value gap right here. So ideally, if this fair value gap will perform, we need to take out this low right there. And then after taking out the low, the excuse will be 50%. Sell side, we have this weekly fair value gap right there plus inside the monthly fair value gap. And another thing, guys, uh, this right here, this fair value gap right here, remember, we engaged with it. The high was taken. So it is a second hand. So second hand can operate, can work, or can be as good as second hand. So it will be great with me if we can once and for all violate this area because this is a retail support. So let's go to the lower time frame and get to the discounted one right there. This is our discounted favor gap that we talked about. At least if the market is going high. Let's get to the daily. Please focus. We are going to multiply everything that you see here by 5. Let's go to the daily. And sorry, and another thing, just not to touch the chart, I'm only going with this blue shaded area right here. The purple ones are leave, uh, this this other ones I'm leaving them behind because they will clutter the charts so we are looking for that weekly fair value gap okay the market went lower this is the one that we expect it to be violated so now we are on a daily remember we mentioned that we were looking at this busy right here as our target as price went up after NFP and then we reached that target. And then I've also mentioned that um, I, I would like to see price engaging with the highs right there. Of which we had a, a CB right there. Uh, on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We reacted off of that CB right there. Then let's see the annotations. This is that weekly bearish order block. Mean threshold. This is the reason why price reacted. Then price came back. And then this line right here is that monthly buy side liquidity. Remember that we engaged, we came back, we broke, we went above. Now we retested that area right there. So what will be the next area of interest if we have there? With that we have there. If we go above this buy side, but if we go down, we go below this sell side that we have right here plus this area that weekly favor gap that we had right there that will be the area that we would like to engage with so guys um let me take you to the lower time frame i want you to focus on this candles only this candles once the market touched here and went down and see if we, there's any opportunity that we can utilize remember this is a daily favor gap that the price engaged with Ideally, this low needs to be taken out because this low is responsible for this favor value gap right there. There we go. So holding that bu those buy that bias holding bu uh, those buyers. Let's go to the lower time frame. I said focus only here. This the price that you are seeing now. It's only related to this. We came into daily. CB right there. We went back down. We created a displacement. We are on the hourly chart. Then this low is responsible for this favor value gap right there. Then we went into it. We missed right there. We went back. We took out the buy side. Then after taking out the buy side, what do we have here? We have a displacement right there. Look at the size of the candles. Let's continue. What do we expect? If we have a price like this, we expect the market to come back and engage with the fair value gap after the displacement, then drop down. But what do we have again? You have this busy right there. We failed to engage with, and we have that other block right there. So this can make sense that the market might come down here, maybe during London and then during New York 
went back up. Oh, London might drive the market higher. And then during New York, you can get your your sell. This will be the lowest hanging fruit utilizing this low right there. So guys, without wasting any time, that's the long and short of it. I hope you catch something right here and go to your charts, annotate and uh, annotate and watch price as it performs. Do not rush anything and go back to bus driver model, guys, and try let us try to be um let us try to be to focus on one thing. Uh, without wasting any time, guys, let me see you on the next video.